And let's deal with Bristol Energy. Since December of last year, a further £5.5 million has been put into Bristol Energy. Uh, the capital that you've shoved into it, 37, almost, well, over £37 million. Total liability is £55 million. Uh, what are it now? 12 energy companies have gone bust in the last 18 months. How much longer are you going to support this basket case? Well, we're waiting for, a, um, we're waiting for the report to come back and uh, we'll be able and it will have clear direction for us on the on the, the business case for Bristol Energy um, in that report and we'll be able to share uh, more then. What but, business um, case? There isn't a, a, it isn't a, a business, Marvin Reese. I mean, it's it says in its report here, our energy services will deliver a 1.5 operating profit by 2025, led by our pioneering heat network services. By then, I have no idea what the council will have shoved into it, but it's £55 million now. £55 million in debt to you, the council, and it's going to make £1.5 million by 2025. Well, Don, what we need to do is to wait for the report and uh, take an informed decision uh, when the report comes in on how we uh, navigate the future with our company. Uh, Remembering this is our company and it's in the best interest, the best financial interest of the citizens of Bristol uh, that this company is is, is, um, handled well. Would you put your own money in it? Well, it's not. I'm not in the energy business, so uh, personally, so it's not something. But if so, you know, um, if the Bristol Energy came along and said, "I tell you what, we'll give you a few shares, give us a couple of grand," and you uh, would you put your family's money into Bristol Energy? Well, on my, uh, if I if I received ad- advice, as we're going to get some advice in the coming months, that this was a this was a good opportunity, uh, then then I I would, but I would go to some people with genuine expertise in the energy field to. Uh, to offer me some guidance on that. I wouldn't use it on the basis of um, headlines and, and, and Twitter. I would want the, the okay. evidence, and that's what we're getting now. OK, so you, this report will tell you what, then? Because th- they've given you the evidence. The evidence is out there at the moment. It's factual evidence. And the, the report I just read there was Bristol Energy's own, own business plan. £55 million of council taxpayers' money in this thing. You put in another 5.5 since December of last year. You've got... Big financial pressures already, excepting where we are right now with this existing crisis. This this will be this will carry on long after hopefully we are the other side of this dreadful situation we're we're in at the moment. How much more before either you sell it or you just wind it up like all the other energy companies that have gone pop over the last eighteen months? Well, as I said, John, that's that's going to be we're going to know where we are and what the best course of action is when we get the report in a couple of months. It's as straightforward as that, really. There's a uh, and um, we'll have it, and that will form the basis of our decision. Have you been in conversation with anybody about buying it, like Bristol-based Ovo? No, I haven't personally been in a, any conversations like that, no. OK. But clearly, clearly, um, it, you know, Bristol Energy has been a, a, a major part of, uh, of the work we've done around the, the City Leap and our, 